Stable and supportive bike packing bag systems have always been critical. Minimal movement gives the bike and the overall rig reliable and inspiring ride quality, similar to how a bike should feel when unloaded. And that's precisely what I found with the Miss Grape Il Coso, which stands for the thing. <laughs> Let's get into it. Before we get any further, I just wanna let folks know that this video is partially supported by Salsa Cycles. The Journeyer is designed to be a gateway to many cycling experiences, whether riding or racing gravel, going bikepacking, or loading up with racks and panniers, or frankly, just riding around town. Journeyer's long and low geometry boosts stability, increasing rider confidence, all at a very inviting price point. So to learn a little bit more about the Journeyer, make sure to click this card right here, or head to salsacycles.com. Miss Grape is an Italian bike packing bag manufacturer that has been around since 2012. And while I've seen their bags in person several times, this is actually the first product that I have tested of theirs. And to be quite honest, it's somewhat of a departure from their soft bag offerings. Now, I definitely won't be the first to tell you that this design might not be entirely original. We've seen designs similar to this from the likes of Salsa, Bar Yak, and Rock Ice. But the Il Coso is original in the fact that it brings the cradle and accessory together to make a modular system that can be installed in various ways. All right, so Miss Grape is calling it a handlebar bag support, and it has a few different parts. So it has the base, it has small clamps, uh, long clamps that actually fit an aluminum tube, hardware, some clamp stickers, and two straps. So the base and the clamps are very stiff and lightweight, uh, made out of some sort of uh, injected molded plastic. The system with the small clamps comes in at 249 grams and 339 grams with the long clamps. So when you look at the Il Coso in photos, the system seems intuitive, but when I opened the box, I was a little confused, mainly because of the different ways that you can actually install it. So you can choose from the long clamps, which allow you to run the aluminum bar, which can easily fit accessories like lights, GPS, and so on. Or you could use these short, small clamps that don't use the bar attachment and just basically attach the base to your handlebars. So the clamps can mount in two different positions on the base bracket, and then flipping the clamps offer two more ways to mount the system on the bar. Plus, you can also rotate the clamp on the bar itself, offering adjustment that way. So the Il Coso does not fit 35 millimeter bars. It's only designed to fit 31.8 millimeter bars, which is a shame as I could only test this system on my drop bar bikes. The base is a decent size, not too big, coming in at 98 millimeters by 227 millimeters. And it comes with an inner and outer strap mounting point. That said, you could easily use volet or austere straps with this system if you didn't want to rely on the locking buckle system, although these are super robust buckles. So out of the box, you will first need to install uh, the provided 3M grippy stickers. These essentially help keep the bar in place. And while they work to a degree, I still had the system shift over time, but nothing drastic. Miles and Logan both also tested this system and they ended up using the long clamps with the aluminum crossbar and really liked the additional storage for other gadgets. But the beauty here is that you don't have to use this system. And I found that the short clamp uh, suited my needs perfectly. I'm pretty simple regarding my cockpit. I don't really like too much going Going on. Plus, I typically end up using uh, this handlebar pocket that holds my DJI Mini 3 drone, which kind of takes up a bit of space up front anyways. So when I was installing the system, my goal was to keep the weight low and as close to the head tube as possible. That way, the weight was mainly supported and so I could still see my front tire and what was ahead of me. This can be accomplished in a few ways and can easily be adjusted to kind of work around your cable and housing which is the ultimate goal with this style or this system uh, to give breathing room to avoid any unwanted pressure on those parts. And unlike the Salsa Anything Cradle, which pushes that weight a little bit too far off the front bars, the Miss Grape system definitely gives you the right amount of clearance while keeping that weight close enough to the bar. 
So I ended up using this system on a 70 millimeter stem, but Miles ended up using it on flat bars with a 40 millimeter stem and had no issue with the setup. So one instance where you just might not actually be able to use uh, this misgrape system is if you have a stem that is super big and bulky. Uh, that being said, every stem that I actually tested this on, I have a bunch of stems in my stem collection, it ended up working. So installing the longer clamps, uh, it allows the same modular system, but by flipping the clamp, you will find that the aluminum accessory bar either sits higher or lower. Either way, both clamp systems use uh, four M4 by 20 millimeter bolts. So I installed the straps in the inner position, which seemed to work really well, but I also used this system with the previously mentioned older bedrock pocket, attaching that pocket to the outer uh, strap mounting points on the base. Uh, this basically allowed the system to be even more secure. That said, Logan tested it in the outer position. Logan actually ditched the regular straps right away for some volet straps, while Miles used the provided straps. And he mentioned that it works better for or, uh, larger bags or heavier loads. When I found the orientation that worked on my Atso Fenrir, I really didn't touch it too much after this. Misgrape did send uh, the system with a six liter bag, which was far too small for even me, a relatively light packer, but perhaps they meant to send uh, maybe an eight liter or that 16 liter bag. So I ended up using the Rogue Panda Gila dry bag uh, with this system and it worked great, but any dry bag will definitely get the job done. There are definitely a few things that I really, really like about this system. First being it's a harness. So it's super easy to install and uninstall your dry bag uh, using the two straps. These two straps are pretty easy to tug on to tighten down uh, and then the locking buckle definitely keeps things in place. Plus the base of this system uh, is kind of rounded. It's ergonomic, so to speak. So it really fits uh, the dry bags really nicely. So another thing I really liked about this system was the supported feel while riding. You knew what you were gonna get. There wasn't gonna be much movement up front. And yes, the system did shift a little bit, a few millimeters, I would rotate it downward uh, closer to the head tube. That being said, it still did clear the head tube. All right, so the simple two point connection around the handlebars means that there's no need to attach anything around a head tube or a fork crown like many other systems out there. I guess the only concern is that there's only two small bolts that hold the entire system from the bars to the base, uh, but we've had no issues with that thus far, but it might be a good idea to just carry an extra bolt. So I ended up abusing this system quite a bit over my last few trips, likely more so actually using a rigid fork, and I'm really pleased with how it's held up. Overall, I'm actually a really big fan of the Il Coso. It takes cues from a variety of different systems and puts them into one super light and functional handlebar system that works in various ways and keeps the weight from moving around, uh, which definitely gives me a more consistent, secure, and reliable feeling up front. Uh, I do, however, wish that it came in a 35 millimeter bar option. So the Il Coso comes in at 140 USD, which definitely might be a little expensive considering that it actually doesn't have any cargo capacity. All right, so what are your thoughts on the Miss Grape Il Coso? let me know in the comment section below. And if you like what you saw in this video and want to see more like it, definitely hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And consider joining the Bikepacking Collective. Support from our members helps sustain this channel and really everything we do here at bikepacking.com. The collective has a lot of perks, including the twice annual Bikepacking Journal. So to learn a little bit more, definitely click on the card in your top right corner or also find a link in the description below. As always, thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, pedal further.